Hey, I'm Brandon, and today we are checking out the Dainese Black Shape Gloves coming in at 150 buckaroos. Now, these gloves are geared towards the warmer weather riding season. You've got some perforation incorporated here, and they are a genuine cowhide leather main construction here. So I like the overall feel, not too shabby here. I will say genuine leather is a little bit subpar in comparison to what we typically see from Dainese. Usually they're a bit more premium with the leather uh, that they're utilizing for gloves and jackets and things of that nature, but you are gonna save a good bit of money at that $150 price point with Dainese because usually they're a bit more in that premium price point. It's where they typically play. But overall, I like the amount of protection that you're getting with these gloves. The fit works. I would say, speaking of the fit, it's running about a half size on the generous side of the spectrum. Typically, I measure just around 8.75 inches around the full circumference of my hand, um, and I typically wear a size large. In these particular gloves, I went with a size medium, and they fit me much better. Nothing feels restrictive. I still have that you know, range of motion to manipulate my controls. Nothing feels bad in that regards, but I did find that it was a little bit too generous for me in that size large. So I would say, if you've got your measurements, reference that sizing chart. If you're in between two sizes, I'd probably go down with the smaller option, especially considering this is a leather main construction. It's going to relax. It's going to break in with regular use and time. It absolutely will. Trust me, every leather pair of gloves uh, that I've ever owned has certainly broken with regular use and time. But at 150 bucks, it'll ship to you for free. And of course, we do have our price match policy in place that is there to ensure that you're getting the best deal around. Let's talk about some of the features here. So swinging over to the wrist, you can see that little Speed Demon TPR logo right there. Got that genuine leather, as I mentioned before, perforation around this particular area, a little bit of stretch around the thumb. And then as we swing over to the wrist, as that main entry here, this feels a little bit subpar. It feels like this material is going to crinkle up quite a bit with regular use and time, and I feel very similarly about just the, the, the leather itself in general. I feel like it's just, it's not gonna age incredibly well, so I typically look for a little bit more premium leather from Dainese, as I mentioned, but don't wanna harp on it too much, but I don't love this particular strap. It just feels a little bit subpar in comparison to the premium level, the quality that we're typically used to seeing from Dainese. But with that, you are gonna save a little bit of money there. Don't wanna harp on it too much. Swing on our way to the knuckles here. Split knuckle design, good protection, foam underneath that, so it's very comfortable. Nothing feels restrictive, as I mentioned before. You've got the accordion right here on the fingers. Those are your trigger fingers, so you can easily manipulate your controls. A Little bit of coverage right here on that outer pinky as well. Always nice to see that. And working our way to the inside of the hand. You do get touch tech capability on the index finger as well as the thumb. Usually I like it rolled around the, uh, the tip of the thumb as well as the tip of the index finger. You can see it's rolling back on the index finger there. Not so much on the thumb, but you still are able to pinch and zoom. That's really what I look for with these particular gloves, having it on the tip. It just makes that a little bit easier when you're zooming in and out on your maps, your GPS device, etc. But nice to have the touch tech capability in general. A little bit more reinforcement in this particular area with that extra little patch of leather. This is you know a high wear area with your controls always nice to see that pretty much par for the course there and i do love that they gave you that coverage around that outer seam this is something i'm certainly always looking for we don't always see it around this particular price point with a lot of brands so it is nice that you are still getting that coverage around the pinky a little bit of additional foam protection and reinforcement around the palm as well because i've said it a hundred times i'll say it again when you're coming off the bike it is your natural instinct to more or less brace yourself for impact right to throw that hand out there so nice to get a little bit of additional protection and reinforcement in this particular area. At this particular price point, I don't wanna knock it too much, but typically we see a little bit more premium quality from Dainese. These are fairly comfortable. Uh, I would like to see how they wear over regular use and time. Anxious to see how that, that works out. And this, just give us something that's a little bit more a little bit better quality in this particular area. I think it's gonna hold, but it just feels like this is, yeah, over time it's gonna wear down pretty quickly. So maybe on the next iteration, a little bit of updates there. Maybe give us some goat leather on the inside of the palm. You know, those are things we typically come to expect. If you're looking for more details, click that info button. That'll take you over to the product page. And if you have any additional questions for us, maybe you're comparing these gloves to a few other options you might be looking at, don't hesitate to reach out to our customer service team. They're all riders, more than happy to get you pointing in the right direction. Thanks for hanging out with us for a bit, taking a closer look at the Dainese Black Shape Gloves. I'm Brandon, keep it pinned.